Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 26th of October 1860, Giuseppe Garibaldi met with Victor Emmanuel II, the King of Sardinia, at Tiano and handed him control of southern Italy. Garibaldi landed with his thousand, also known as the Red Shirts, on the island of Sicily on the 11th of May. The number of troops under his command quadrupled within just three days, and so on the 14th of May, Garibaldi proclaimed himself dictator of Sicily in the name of Victor Emmanuel II of Italy. Within a fortnight, he had besieged the Sicilian capital of Palermo, where many of the inhabitants joined with him and began to attack the Neapolitan garrison. Despite the arrival of 25,000 reinforcements, the Neapolitans surrendered the city following an armistice facilitated by a British admiral, but not before the city had been virtually reduced to rubble. Further difficult battles followed, but by the start of September, Garibaldi had crossed to the mainland and taken control of Naples. The king fled with his army, but he had not been defeated and still had the support of around 25,000 soldiers. At the Battle of Volturno, Garibaldi's red shirts were only successful against these forces thanks to the arrival of the Piedmontese army, who made it clear that they would not allow Garibaldi to march on Rome. When Victor Emmanuel arrived on the 26th of October, Garibaldi chose to hand over his territory. Hailing him as King of Italy, Garibaldi's surrender of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies effectively ended any hope for an Italian Republic, but was one of the most significant events in the unification of the peninsula. Garibaldi subsequently retired to the island of Caprera.